Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 69 of Let's FIFA 13. And in this episode, we are building a new squad for the CONCACAF uh, Gold Cup, which is uh, the uh, football association uh, for North and Central American uh, countries and the Caribbean. So uh, the, the nations you, you can use in this tournament is that you have to have nine players from Mexico and Costa Rica and nine players from the United States and Panama uh, in, uh, in your starting 11 and substitute. So uh, yeah, that is kind of the squad I'm building. It is mainly around uh, players from the United States and Mexico, but I'll pick up one Costa Rican player as well because he looked really, really good. The inform Miller, and uh, that's the reason why I also play three-five-two because if I was going to play with a four-back formation, I would not be able to to get a good keeper with full chemistry. So I decided to go with a three-back formation and three-five-two being the best in my opinion. I went with that. And uh, yeah, we're getting a bunch of players here and most of them were quite cheap to pick up. But still, they gone up a little bit in price because this tournament is out and uh, there's a, I believe it's 7.5k to win uh, if you win the tournament. So yeah, a lot of people are probably out looking for some of the better United States and Mexican players. So yeah, they went up a little bit in price but the, the two really expensive players off the squad is the Inform Miller and then um Giovanni Dos Santos, the right mate, he is quite expensive as well. And then I just did a little bit of fine tuning to the squad to get everyone on that a nine and chemistry, picking up some position modifiers and a formation modifier, I believe, as well. And then finally a squad morale before I get into the squad. So on goal, we do have Howard, and I believe he's the best keeper you can get for this tournament. At least he looks quite good. He's quite tall, and I believe he got the long throw trade as well. We got Ihemelo, not quite sure if I pronounce it right, but he's quite fast, got high defensive work rate, which is is quite nice and I decide to go with him over win because he's taller and got better work rates in my opinion the other center back is a power again quite fast and then uh, all right heading and he's uh, somewhat tall as well and finally we got a Miller I believe he's a left back by default but his in, in form is a center back so he got a nice bit of pace he got insane strength I believe it's 90 or something and then he's quite tall as well so a good option there on the right center back now uh, the first center deficit mid is Marquez and and, um, yeah, he's not that fast, but uh, he, I believe, yeah, he played a center back in Barcelona back in the day, so he's really good at defending, and, uh, yeah, he will stay back. On the right mid, we have Giovanni Dos Santos, also played for Barcelona in the past, and he got a bit of pace and some skill moves on and four-star skills, and uh, he is quite good. And then we got Cameron on the other center defensive mid. He's very tall. He got a bit of pace on him, and he can win the headers as well, which is quite nice. And then on the left mid, we got Dempsey. He's not that fast fast for left mid he got high defensive work rate so he'll probably not push up that much but he got a very very good long shot on him he got the long shot trade a right footed so he can cut inside and take shots with him and they are really really powerful which you'll see so yeah he is on the left mid and he'll probably do a good job center tank mid we converted a vela down there from the striker spot to link up with a giovanni dos santos and he got a bit of pace on him used his uh, team of the season uh, the right mid version and he was really really good so looking forward to trying out his Reckless, uh, regular card. Striker, we got Hernandez, 90 pace, so he's really, really fast, but only 3-star skills, which of course isn't the best in my opinion, but he can still pull off the ball, roll, drag back. And then we got the other striker, Polito, 86 pace and 4-star skills, which is nice. He's right-footed, but only 1-star weak foot, so that's why I placed him on the left striker spot, so he can like uh, shoot it to the far corner, cut inside. And to be honest, he is surprisingly good, like he... He was amazing to play with despite not being uh, rated very much, uh, like I believe 67 rated, not a like, high rated player and one star weak foot, it can seem really really bad, but he's a really really good player, which you will see uh, in this episode. But before I played with the squad, I went into the Gold Cup, the semi-finals, uh, just to get the fitness up, and uh, I get a chance here, and Pato, he will score that, hitting the bar, and it goes in, but pretty much one minute after, he somehow gets onto the ball, I get the tackle in, but it falls back to Cavani, and he will make it one. One, one and I give Cavani way too much space here and he will make it 2-1 as well. Uh, I get one final chance in the 90th minute but I couldn't convert it and I end up losing the game and that was a little bit frustrating. I had my chances but uh, I couldn't get a second goal and instead it was him going with the win and that meant yeah I was out of the Gold Cup but then it was time to move on to the new tournament the CONCACAF Gold Cup to try out the new squad I built and the first team I come up against uh, got a few players I also have in my squad which isn't really 
really a surprise because there's not that many to choose between if you want the good players. But uh, Polito here on the ball, finding Dempsey. We take the shot and uh, a weak foot shot there. It is saved by the keeper. But from the corner, we use our corner set piece. And I've been asked a few times why I don't really use it. And that's because I started using the regular corners and started scoring a lot of goals with it. And just kept on going with them. But I will probably get it back to the to the corner set piece. But uh, Giovanni Dos Santos there scoring a lovely goal after panning the defender. And then Polito finding Vela. We go with a roulette and a Rabona, but it goes just wide off the goal. And this was a really fun game to play. Hernandez once again on the ball and he picks up a penalty. And we're closing into 100 penalties. And especially this game, yeah, you'll see. Hernandez, you'll get a goal there too to make it 3-0 and then a Vela breakthrough we try with the rainbow flick and we managed to get it over the keeper I believe and that's why we are awarded another penalty and Hernandez getting another goal from the spot and here Dempsey muscling Ihimelo off the ball making his way into the box and we pick up our third penalty in the game and Hernandez once again stepping up and converting to complete his hat-trick off the penalty spot and uh, he decides to rage quit after that. So that means I'm through to the next round in the tournament and we'll play that game as well as the last game of this episode and uh, yeah the squad pretty much got uh, the perfect fitness because he decides to rage quit uh, in the middle of the second half. So we go into the game there and again a quite nice side we come up against uh, and we find Dempsey A flick it back over his head and then it's Polito. Look at that volley hitting the post to make it 1-0 but he gets back into the game there with Salcedo and with a shot from outside the box but Polito is once again here. Somehow he gets onto the ball here. A little ball roll and a fake shot in between two defenders and is that a one star weak foot? It doesn't look like it. A nice finish there with the left foot to make it 2-1 and we continue on Hernandez on the ball flicks it back over his head quite lucky to get back onto the ball but he will not get the goal and once again we find Polito here and a little chip over the keeper there to make it a free one to complete his hat trick he was playing a really really good game and we continue on Hernandez on the ball here making his way into the box going past a few defenders we try the shot but it is saved by his keeper and Polito going past one defender he will go past the keeper and another defender but on luck not to get the goal could have gotten his fourth goal there and then Hernandez going past the keeper once and twice and we make our way into the box where we find Avella and the weak foot is saved the weak foot shot is saved and pretty much after that when he got onto the ball here he decided to rage quit and that will be the end of the episode guys I hope you did enjoy it and uh, we'll continue on tomorrow it's episode 70 so we'll probably have a little bit of an extended episode and probably a new squad around the the new inform D Alessandro and inform set off but uh, that is for tomorrow Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode and I will talk to you later.